We are together since 1st of February, that is eight months, on a transitional journey to prepare ATPCO for the future. And one important central ingredient for this journey is innovation. Innovation will be and has to be a cornerstone of our new corporate culture, and we are talking a lot, and we have started to talk a lot at this conference about innovation. If you look at the conference itself, it's changed. I think that is visible, very visible. In particular, when we are talking about the refreshed AD Pico brand, and the most visible element of the brand, of course, is our logo. Here is our new logo. You will hear from ATP co leaders about the vision and the roadmap of, of ATP co, but more than ever, you will see uh, customers on the stage. Customers like partners, we will have ATP co board members, and we will have thought leaders that share their view about the industry and about trends how the key developments will impact airline distribution. We have, as I mentioned, 300 attendees uh, at this conference, some statistics very quickly. 129 from North America, 19 from Latin America, 81 from Europe, Middle East and Africa, and 47 from Asia Pacific. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. You are coming from 53 countries, from 31 technology companies, and from, 50, from 57 airlines. Again, thank you very much. And it looks like that you are coming here at a time when the airline industry is in really good shape. Uh, IATA expects for 2017 4 billion passengers and a passenger revenue of 527 billion US dollars. That is good, that is good for you, that is good for us. You're giving us a lot of work, we are busy, our business is thriving. We have 170 million fares on our database, including uh, constructed fares and fare by rule. We are dealing every day with more than one billion price points, and we have more than four million fare changes per day. This and other ATPCO activities are really facilitating the generation of this big, big number of revenues that you, that you are making. And I have done an, an interesting little math exercise. Uh, if you take our market share, and we believe that is 87%, 87% on the total market, global market of fair distribution, and you, if you apply this to the 527 billion dollars airline PAX revenues, we are directly involved in fueling, in helping creating 458 billion dollar revenues. That is huge. And we, are pr and, and we are proud of it, and we are doing this, I believe, we are doing this very, very efficiently. We are getting back from that revenues just 0.01%. That is $1 out of $10,000 revenues. Compare that, and I just read it um, in an article uh, three days ago. Compare that with the 2% that banks are getting for the money that is going through the IATA settlement. 2% is 200 times more than our percentage. I think that is very, very good. And we believe that that is not just because we are managing our bottom line and not maximizing our revenues. We believe strongly that it's much more related to a, to a strong business model, a business model on partnership, reach, and expertise, and that business model creates highly valuable value proposition, it creates economies of scale, and it creates network economics, and that makes us so successful. That makes us so successful that today we can say we are the market leader in fair and fair collection and, dis and, and distribution and all the related data. We are serving 403 airline, 430 airlines in 160 countries. 
And on the way to that, to global leadership in fair collection and distribution, we have become, ATP has become as well, a global com company from the inside. When I remember when I joined ATP 20 years ago, I was the first employee that ATP sponsored for a, for a work visa, for an H-1B visa. Today we have 70 employees uh, working on a sponsored visa and an additional 17, 70 employees that are non-US born, which in total makes 40% of our workforce not born in the United States. I think that is a good thing. We like that. And this global workforce as well can better interact in a multicultural and global industry that we are, the airline, the airline industry. We are proud of that. And now talking about people, <clears throat> I wanted to show you our top leadership team. These are the officers and, and all directors, um, 25. And, and that is not the announcement of a downsizing, it's a contrary. Um, <laughs> That, that, shows nine, that, that shows nine employees that we hired in the last 12 months since the last uh, customer conference. Um, six of them in, in new positions and in addition, we have uh, promoted or elevated two of our employees, Tom Gregerson and Tom Murphy from managing director into the position of, uh, a, vice, uh, of, a, of a vice president, we believe with having changed basically 30% of our senior leadership, we have as well a good opportunity to be successful on our journey to prepare for the future. Okay, we say we are busy, we are successful, we are the market leader, but we are talking as well about change. We are talking about change because, because the world is changing rapidly. And if we don't innovate, our current or our future competitors will innovate. So innovate is not a choice. We must, we must innovate. And innovation is neither just an idea. We have to focus, and we are doing that. We have to focus as well to see innovation as a value and not only a value to create, but a value that has to be delivered and accepted by the industry. And then uh, we are hearing more and more that you want to have this value delivered very fast. Deliver value faster, that is our slogan in that. Uh, in that. And in order to do that, we have to look as well, not on, only on technology, we have to look in our, to our organization. We want to become a more agile organization. We want to be, become smarter, leaner, and faster. And in this change, we have started with culture and we have started with brand. We believe only Focusing on culture, even though that is a long-term project, makes this change sustainable. And some of you might know uh, this, the quote of uh, Peter Drucker, the management guru, that says, <clears throat> culture eats strategy for lunch. The first thing, however, was a brand. And again, you saw that. That is our, that is our, new, that is our new logo. But from the brand exercise, there had been as well already other um, impacts. One impact is the conference. We make the conference more customer-centric. We are going to invest over the next years a lot in digital and in customer experience. Since the weekend, we have a brand new website, atpico.net, that is mobile. And on the product side, we are focusing on ease of use. The new Fair Manager UI is live today. And on the culture side, we started in the beginning of 2017 to make sure that uh, our, our cultures are really supporting our long-term our long goals. Here you see our cultural pillars in the middle, in the center, innovation, more important. Why are we doing this? We are not doing this because it looks all the nice, even though it looks nice, and we don't want to sound uh, very clever. We are doing this for the industry. You most probably remember that our slogan, since basically I can think working for ATPCO was value to the industry, and we have 
modified that a bit, little bit, as, you has, as I had said before, that we want to deliver value faster. This is why we are doing it. However, um, the definition of value is in your hands. We have to deliver what you value, what your needs are. So having said that, uh, I asked Jerry, Jerry Foran, to come to the stage. Jerry Foran is the chairman of the ATPICO board of directors and the head of product delivery revenue management in British, British Airways. And with that, he is a good ATPICO customer and he will give us his perspective on how the industry will develop and how he believes ATPICO can help British Airways and the industry to be successful in that world. Thank you, Jerry. Morning. Morning. Very good. Um, I'm very excited to be here. Um, I haven't actually been to uh, an ATPICO conference, even though I've been associated with the company for about uh, well, more than 10 years. Uh, I haven't been to one for about 10 years. And uh, this is certainly very different to the last one uh, I attended, both in terms of the number of attendees and the agenda, which looks um, really, really exciting. So we all know uh, in this room that we're li living in a, very, in a period of very uh, dynamic change. It's changing all the time. No one can really say what's going to happen next year, the year after, or the year, year after that anymore particularly because technology is moving so fast. I think every airline in the room is thinking about what their digital strategy should be and um, what their distribution strategy should be. And everyone's thinking about it, but not everyone's clear about what it's going to be. And not everyone is moving at the same speed. Um, some people, or some airlines, haven't really even started yet. And, and all airlines are in different places, and that's controlled by market, um, controlled by... Um, uh, what their vision statement is and, and what their distribution strategy is today. So when it comes to distribution and distribution of the future, we have traditional models uh, as well as new capabilities to consider. Uh, in, in my own uh, group, the IAG group, British Airways is part of the IAG group, not all the airlines are, are entirely agreed on what the way forward is, and that might be right, or the speed at which we need to change. And then if I look at our joint venture partners that British Airways is involved with, and then further still with One World, they all have different views of the world, different strategies, and different views of how they uh, want to get to where they want to get to. So our ecosystem and technology platforms are all very complex, and we will continue to work in these, in these worlds, the new world and the old world, for many, many years to come. In fact, I think it will be at least a decade before there has been some a complete transition from today's, uh, today's world to the new world. So that's why um, AG Pico's role is so important. And it was, and it, it was mentioned, or it, it was shown in the video, when the video was put up, there was a, uh, one of the slides which said, from, exp from experience, I think it said, from experience, uh, we go to the future. And, we, and AG Pico has that experience to help all of the airlines in the room uh, find where they need to go. Uh, particularly on the distribution front, because it supports both the old and the new, and you're going to be hearing about that throughout the conference. Everyone talks about digital and everyone wants to do digital, but I'm not sure everyone actually knows what that means. It's a great and easy word to use, but what does it actually mean? What does it mean for the airline's customers? What, it, what does it mean for the airline's systems, its operational systems? What does it truly mean? And airlines, I, I believe, need help, and I think ATPCO is perfectly positioned uh, to help airlines through that. Um, a big thing now that's being talked about in the industry and led by um, IATA is uh, clearly NDC, and we now talk about shop order, or shop order pay, in fact, uh, which is the brave new world. And airlines have common requirements in this area, and again, um, it, it's perfect from my perspective that an industry utility rather than another third party, um, should be able to help airlines through that. Clearly, the other third parties have a role and a very important role, but I think it's core for the airlines that they have someone in the centre that can provide this experience, provide this knowledge, and help us along this path. So ATPCO is already helping airlines to understand the options and uh, building solutions based on the feedback, and that's what ATPCO has been done for many years. Uh, but today, 
um, ATP Co, as it shows on the slide, uh, is already um, uh, level three certified. Um, I could ask you to put your hands up. Um, who knows exactly what that means? Level three certified. Uh, all I can say about it is it me <laughs> All I can say about it is it means that um, they're very far advanced. They're one of the, the leading organisations, or one of the few organisations, to be level three certified, as indeed is um, British Airways. And. Well, a great example of what they're doing and taking the world forward is something called NDC Exchange. And this is going to enable uh, distribution interoperability, I'm not even going to say that word, interoperability across the travel um, ecosystems. Now, what that means is, um, and particularly it means for an airline uh, like BA, is we have multiple customers. We have multiple travel agents, TMCs, multiple customers uh, wanting to sell our products. But it's important to them uh, from their, uh, their end of the, the spectrum, that they don't have to ideally uh, connect to multiple systems. They want it to be as simple as possible. And certainly some of our key relationships with our agency partners have been asking for us to keep it simple for them. And NDC Exchange, in my view, is one of those things that certainly does that, uh, providing them with a single API. And this will therefore enable the rapid growth of um, API connections across the industry. Uh, we're already in a pilot program with ATPCO um, on uh, NDC Exchange, as indeed are other airlines, and we're very uh, proud to be part of that. And uh, we're in the pilot, we're working with a partner carrier um, in terms of cross-selling of ancillary products, which again is vital to the profitability of uh, most of the airlines in this room. We are big believers in this particular innovation, and we hope to go um, into production uh, next year. So in conclusion, we all need to evolve and we all need to adapt as the industry changes. And ATPCO, as you're going to, you can see already and as you're going to see through over the next few days, ATPCO is evolving, uh, evolving rapidly. And the ATPCO board, of which I'm proud to be part, has confirmed uh, that it wants um, ATPCO to take a critical role um, as the airline industry evolves, rather than uh, focusing on what uh, previously has been its core focus, which it will continue to do in terms of uh, filing of fares and distributing of those fares. It's also about helping airlines to get to the brave new world. Uh, I'm very excited about the new brand and the focus on innovation that we're going to see here today. Uh, I thank you all very much for coming, and I now want to welcome Rolf back to the stand. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. That was uh, very encouraging. And uh, I thank you as well very much for your honest feedback you gave us, uh, I think, two years ago on an ATPCO conference, management conference, with regard to the state of our brand and our marketing communication uh, effectiveness uh, that, ha that has driven very much so uh, that we are doing what we are doing today. and. Uh, uh, we are seeing uh, good results. Uh, I don't know where we were if you wouldn't have pushed us in this direction very much. Thank you very, thank you very much. Uh, let uh, me tell you a little bit what we have done here on the, uh, on the Brand Refresh. Um, because um, most of your organization had been involved, we had done interviews with 70 in industry organization on, on the brand refresh and have, have asked them questions first. Um, how do you see ATPCO today? What are really the words that describe ATPCO uh, today? And the second question was, how would you des describe uh, ATPCO in the future, an ATPCO that is prepared for the future, that can take the opportunities that are opening up in, in a new world, in a new distribution world. This one is uh, the picture uh, with the words for, for the status quo, and you see very clearly in the middle uh, its uh, re reliability, uh, and it's followed by global fruit footprint and as well specialized knowledge, and uh, the future word, what a surprise, is really focused very much so on innovation, followed by expertise, which is an enhancement of uh, our specialized um, knowledge uh, 
that we are getting through learning, being confronted to the new world. And uh, the third one is uh, reliability. That was really uh, the uh, item that everybody said you have to maintain within your brand perception that you are a reliable company, an honest broker, and, and, and a good partner. And we have done that. We have, we have uh, put all that together in our brand pillars that are driving all our brand exercises, and that is reach, expertise, and innovation. With REITs, we are talking about the depth and breadth of our content and our connections. We include in this as well our view on distribution as an end-to-end -end process. And we include here as well our global partnership with the airline and the industry ecosystem. Expertise, I mentioned already, that is elevated, specialized knowledge focused on, on the future and innovation is a key uh, that uh, we have to redouble in order to deliver value faster. Now our vision statement, that is, that is our new vision statement and we have talked about some of the items already. Um, when we presented that internally first, uh, a lot of people felt that the first sentence, to fuel the future of air travel, is, is very bold. But that has been supported really by you, by uh, our airline partners, uh, that are referring to the fact we talked about that we are indispensable in creating airline revenues. Uh, not that we are the biggest part here, but we are the fuel uh, to do that. Uh, you understand as well that in a more complex uh, airline ecosystem, and it's getting even more complex, that we need smart governance, that we need smart uh, standards, and uh, you have asked us to step up uh, and to get into this leadership role. Smart connections, all content, all channels, I will explain on, on, on this picture. That is our future platform that we will commit on Wednesday to our board of directors to produce in three years. Some people might recognize it. Uh, you have seen this uh, in a similar uh, outfit under the name, how it fits all together. This uh, picture basically shows that we continue to collect and distribute all airline data, uh, the traditional ones, fares, rules, uh, taxes, ancillaries, optionals, branded, and the next frontier here for us is uh, rich media. We are giving uh, all that data into all distribution channels, the traditional as well as the uh, NDC channel, and we are giving this as well to all distribution partners. And Jerry uh, uh, talked to that already. Um, we, we are creating interoperability. This here is a hybrid model. Uh, Jerry said that it will be there at least for 10 years, and if within five years, for example, the traditional channel will go down by 50%, we are still talking about more than $200 billion uh, uh, generated in that channel, and the airline industry expe is expecting that they have a partner that facilitates for them this, gener uh, this revenue generation. And all the smarts are in the middle. We call it now total product management. You will hear soon more by uh, Tom from that. Total product management and the smarts, uh, smart connections, uh, we are talking here about the monitoring and analysis. Uh, we are talking about here about our engines or, or calculators. We are talking about APIs. And then there is a big room here for things that can emerge from innovation. Things we talked, for example, yesterday in the innovation forum that might be, we can dream it up, that can be artificial intelligence that can be machine learning, that can be blockchain, that can be anything we maybe don't see to today, but as long as it's relevant, we will put it here for you to create smart connections for, for you, for the airline industry. We believe this platform is very powerful. I think we believe that this platform will help you as well to further grow and um, Grow is on the agenda. IATA, uh, IATA believes that uh, in 2035 
there will be 7.2 billion passengers uh, flying in the airline industry. Um, that industry grows coupled with our vision and with capabilities that we are building up, we believe will create a good opportunity for ATP code to do more and to deliver value faster. This is what I wanted to say today. I hope you have a good conference in front of you. I thank you very much. Thank you.